I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Gen G and HLE during round three of the LCK 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Passing it on. He says, okay, thank you, Peanut. Now I'm going to go mid and maybe trying to look towards the top side, but these crubs are already gone. This is here, who is going to be going for the Leandris first, and, uh, you know, he's going to have the extra health and has the grasp already, so he's just going to be sitting back on huge amounts of health. I mean, we're talking, like, probably up to 3,000-plus eventually, as it is Home Life Esports who will pick up the first Drake. And just actually gets so much value, just consistent heal in the laning phase, especially, as you said, like a pick like the Rek'Sai or a pick like the Akali really helps you to sort of... Okay, going to try to continue on this play. Keen has no ideas. Now the ping is going to come out in mid, but might be a bit too late as the Rek'Sai ult. Hard to get away from this one as Keen is just so dead, and they're going to get first blood over to Zekka here on his account. Spike. We'll have to see how the fight breaks out. All right, well, X flash over the wall. They want to engage on the Sejuani. Not the best pick, but now the 1v1 in the mid lane as well. And now the Zeri looking to chase down, but the Thugus damage over the wall. And now the TP coming in from Keen. But here is Doran as well. Looking to turn it onto the Urgot, who is left all alone. And down he will go as Viper picks up a kill in this game, the second for Hamalife Esports. Disengaging from him, but it meant Chobi wasn't present. It was only really Paze trying to do damage. And it's very hard to cut through this front line of Hamalife Esports. And then Keen joined, was just immediately not in the right position, so... He's going to drop down the Rift Herald. This was spotted that they were doing this, but Genji just selecting to let it go. And now Keen is kind of like, just alone here. Um, there is a turret, but it's nearly gone. And you would imagine that, yeah, they're just going to turn on to Keen here. The Black Flavor is getting some work done into Doran, but no Flash, no help, and no Urgot! He's just dead! Yep, completely isolated here, and Genji might try and look on the other side, but you're trying to dive an Alistair, it's a hard ask. And in the meantime, a second charge comes through. Genji gonna start up this Drake. How many Peaceports say, well, we already have two Drakes, but they are still going to TP into this one. The light has a fantastic angle. Genji fought between a rock and a hard place that Wukong already getting started. They engage on that back line, it pays. He does survive for a bit, and down will go the Zeri, but now, Zekka is a huge force to be reckoned with as Chovy is left alone on the right side, but there is the fear coming in from, Udin, from the Urgot, and that should be enough to turn this fight around as Doran is the one to survive, but the rest of his teammates are gone. Yeah, and actually Gen G managed to get a handle on the fight. The value from the Urgot, absolutely massive there. Pegas goes down always, almost immediately, and what looks like an initial good set, setup from Hunter Life but they, they're just feeling the pressure of that silent threat the got. Well, Viper still has his flash, so that's one thing he's got over pays, I suppose. As a TP. They could back off now and be happy with getting the TP if they wanted. Yeah. Uh, the hook is going to miss, though, and there's the engage the turn onto the Urgot, who is so tanky, but not tanky enough, immediately goes down the turn. Super crisp from the side of Hamalife Esports. That's going to get the top laner of Genji down. And now a 5v4 situation for Hamalife Esports, plus that teleport you were talking about. Uh, uh, he's fine, he's right. Sorry. Yeah, he's right. The Eagle's doing so much damage with the Aery Shred. Oh, wait, oh, no. they had a ward. Pays backing in a very precarious spot. He has to flash, and now he's got Nakali on him. He's just dead. Down goes Pays. Essentially, for free is now the hands, desperate to save his teammates, but nearly goes down himself. And well, and they're just gonna start the Baron. I mean, no Ophelios, that is a how low, huge chunk of damage gone. Look how low Keen and Lahens are already. Yeah, and they can easily turn if they want to. I mean, here we go, there's the turn, a massive Wukong ultimate as the divide is huge from the side of Jovi, but you can't get away from the Akali, just right on top of them as they continue, but Jovi's getting huge value. They go so far into the Azir that, uh, you know, I don't think you're gonna be able to take out the Rek'Sai though, as Jovi, He's still going to give it a try. He's still full health. They never got on top of the Azir. Extra safety. And you saw just the constant damage he's putting out in these fights. He is a problem, but he's not one with an easy solution. And he does kind of save that passage of play for Gen G. On top of that, Gen G can just run straight over the Dragon. And we'll be able to equalize in terms of those. Not only does this mean that Hot Life Esports are still really far away from the soul, but it means Elder is not going to be a prospect for a long time. And Genji could continue to be alive to get the value of. Just press R once and your job <laughs> is done. And then just die and then let your team do the damage. Let Chovy do the work. Yeah. 
Uh, they're committing to this Baron, although you can see, you can tell they're looking for a turn as well. As the angle coming in, that ult from the Sejuani not going to do anything, as here is the turn. Zeka on the flank, his Zeri ultimate is going to be popped as a big engage comes in from that and a massive oh. follow-up from Delight as they get in the back of it. But look at Toby, he's still full health. He's still turning this one around alongside Akeen. And now it's going to be Zeka against Toby. And Zeka with a triple kill already. He is looking to finish this one off. He's got Doran with him as well. The Q timing is off, but it's still a quadra for what Zeka in the team fight. What a huge team fight for Honda Life Esports. Played so perfectly by and they're soaking damage. Yeah, and struggles a lot, you know. Try to lock down. If you ult Doran, it does basically nothing. Uh -oh. Keep you flanked. This is from Zeka. He is so fed right now. He is so gigantic. And they're engaging on Terexai. I mean, they have a huge amount of damage, but it's Terexai, guys. Is the engage for Delight not that great, actually? Doesn't get to the back line. Paige is totally fine. And the fight is broken up here. Humble like Esports do not find the angle. And Gen G, they turtle up and they win this one in a big way. Two kills already. And you see the difference in this situation. You know, they didn't have Doran and the turret had so much value in that situation. Situation, it gave Gen G a position to back off to, a position of safety to retreat into, and you can see Zeka was so hesitant about diving in. Once again, the team fights are so down to the wire uh -oh. in this game. <laughs> They're trying to get this dragon, and they yeah, they to give it up. They just don't have the time. And yes, they're mobile; they'll get away. But this is a thanks for the leash moment as they go from Baron to the Cloud Drake, and now Genji have three Cloud Drakes stacked up. But he just hasn't been able to touch the wave. Now trying to clear uh -oh. it out. Zeka on the flank, and once again, just spotted by the Urgot. Doesn't get to play the game. And Such a good job of just checking these flanks consistently. Yeah. And here we go. This turret should fall. I mean, there's not even minions in range, just the Void Buffs. And that will be enough. They will take down the top inhibitor. This is Baron. It's crazy how Honor Life Esports have these really orchestrated plays to kill Pays, And then Genji so quickly turned around on a Viper. Yeah. Lens is going to flash away. Now the counter engage does come in, but that's a wreck side. That's not the target. You guys want to hit it now. The Zeri is going insane mode. They way overextend in this fight. And now Genji are going to pay the price as Pays loses his GA. And one small mistake, one mistimed engage, and immediately how will I be He's going through the heads of oh, Doran Snipes Chovy here. This oh dude, boy. They, they might actually be able to get so could they even end here? They're gonna it's try. Rexai. He could just stop Chovy recalling forever. Well, even if they don't get the end, they will take the mid inhibitor. And Doran absolutely will tank up the Surrey. Do you think he, he cares? Take damage. He doesn't take damage. He does not care at all. Oh, oh, great timing. Yeah, he doesn't have the knockup now. And uh, so Doran's just going to TP in. They're going for the end as they dive on a Toby. And he's on you as he stays alive. Zekka's taking the turret. They can't take out the tank is here. Doran doesn't do enough damage. I don't think they can end now. Uh, they're going to try. The Nexus is bare. They are hitting it. And the Zeri just does too much. The knockup comes in oh. from Doran and denies the engage. And that is game number one going into the hand. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.